Welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, we are Nick and Sarah, a British couple who left the UK many years ago in search of something different. And with our two little dogs, we live and travel full time in our camper van when the world permits it. Over the last few years, we've visited over 25 countries. And we've just spent the last winter visiting family and exploring the UK. We're currently back home in Andalusia, southern Spain, and you join us in today's vlog in Arena del Rey in the stunning province of Granada. We managed to find ourselves another incredible park up. This place is amazing. I, I don't know how the lakes are so blue here. Why are they so blue? We're about 40 kilometers from the city of Granada. We parked up at the top there in the little circle of trees late last night. And then we've just driven down here for the day. Can I just add that it's actually a reservoir? But anyways, check out the calmness of this blinking water. Look at this. Oh. Just the one. We've seen loads on the drive. Dizzy, don't we? Oh, it is. Don't we on it? <laughs> oh, we know. <laughs> Just one little wild poppy in the desert. It's basically very dry around here, it's crazy, isn't it? Crazy, isn't it? That's crazy. Anyway, look at that lake. So I think a swim is definitely in order for today, the that's for sure. Too. And it's heating up. It's about 10 o'clock now and it's quite hot, isn't it? I think we're going to have to move the van though because that beautiful park up where we are just up here is in direct sunlight. And although it's good to charge up the batteries, it does get a little bit toasty in the van. So we're going to move a little bit further up for a bit of shade. one of those days where we have to be very creative in the kitchen because we haven't been to the supermarket for a while and we haven't actually got much so we're just kind of going through the cupboards and seeing what we've got left so we can piece together hopefully an okay tasting lunch. We have got carrots, we have got seeds and we have got peanut butter. Can you tell what's going to happen now? You know what's going to happen <laughs> now don't you? Sweet or savoury? Is that sweet or savoury? I'll come back to you in a couple of minutes. Yeah, so we're just gonna have something to eat now, but it's, it's quite good because we thought we'd have to move up to like the tree line up there because we'd be in full sun and we are in full sun, but the sun is going straight over the van. So it's not beaming in through the side door. So it's not too hot. And guys, oh my gosh, the water is absolutely perfect. It's just so divine. We've already been in for a swim and it was just, ah! <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. That is just incredible, isn't it? It's like a huge swimming pool. And it's just a bit shocking that there's hardly anyone here. Like we've literally pretty much got the place to ourselves. There's one van there. If this was somewhere else, there'd be vans everywhere. There's like loads of places for people to park. I don't know if it's because people are a bit scared of going inland Spain when it starts to heat up a bit, because it does get quite hot. But, um, but yeah, I'm not complaining, but we have got, have got this place to ourselves pretty much. Check out that for a picnic spot. Little bench seat there, beautiful view over that lake and just a few meters from the van. Instagram shot right there. <laughs> I'm probably even better looking that way. Wow. 
and we need this now because it is actually pretty hot isn't it I don't want to sugarcoat things guys um, obviously Nick and I are used to doing this lifestyle and we're used to living in Spain it's blinking hot what's the date today I'm not sure end of May coming up to the end of May but it's hot so you know you need to have shade it is getting a bit toasty in the van it's plus 30 in the van now but this is perfect actually this is lovely since covid we spent more time in spain in yeah. the summer you have to be near a body of water you have to be near a lake or definitely. a river or something to jump in otherwise yeah. it won't it's survive, too much. It won't survive. It, it is definitely too much so um, and what a what a lake that is eh? i know this is this Ooh. is unbelievable we've managed to scrap together a little omelet a no egg omelette because we always have things like chickpea flour in the van we always have like staples so um with just a few simple ingredients hopefully it's going to turn out I'm like sure an omelette i'm sure it will look at that that is it's like a postcard that's like a postcard for van life yeah so let's see how we go yeah i do love this little thing it was bought as an emergency in the uk just great to be able to cook outdoors obviously you've got the kitchen in the van but it's nice to have something to allow you to cook in the in the beautiful fresh air and the view like this. Well, we need to in the summer. You know, obviously it's, it gets hot in the van and mm. then you cook in a van that size in the summer. Oof, too much. So I don't know if you've noticed that the dogs, so Dizzy has to be leashed, um, Charlie not because Charlie's a very good boy and dizzy not so much a good boy now we've already when we arrived here we kind of scouted around the area there's no litter which is quite a quite it's a shock. shocking really isn't it well it's not there's that nobody bad in here Spain, there's but quite, often, some, there is quite often where people go you see quite a lot of litter in certain places when you're on the road we notice it a lot you know sometimes we pick up play, pick up after people so we can have a nice camp but there's nothing around it there's no litter no nothing so it's brilliant because we always have to check everywhere before we just let the dogs sort of go just in case they pick something up or whatever but i tell you what there is there's some little lizards isn't there and um, if you've been following a while you'll know that Dizzy is the ultimate lizard hunter yes this little dog goes crazy for geckos and once he sees one or frogs or any little creature or flashes of light or shadows or anything <laughs> but once he's seen one gecko that's it he's yeah. searching around every single rock yeah. every bush and he sends himself a little bit insane bless him so as it's hot we don't want him just going you know going for it plus we're really worried because he's sticking his little nose in all no the little fear, holes no fear and that's quite worrying isn't it because we don't know if there's snakes or you mm, know spiders or whatever. or whatever so to a certain degree we give him like to give him some freedom but then we have to kind of also rein him in keep him safe for his own good oh is it gonna fall Come on, on. The... oh bloody hell Oh, look at that. Looks all right, doesn't it? Um, so we've got uh, little leftovers. We've also got one little avocado each. Do what you like of that. I haven't cooked those avocados, by the way. They're in that pan. I've just literally <laughs> opened. Don't think that we're weird and we cook avocados. In their skins. <laughs> here. And here we go. How is it, my little lovely? It's beautiful. Lovely. I haven't had one of these for ages. Mm. We have got plates. But we're being all romantic because I feel like this is a very romantic little spot. So we're just sharing one plate. We're oh, sharing. The gentleman is giving the lady the plate and the gentleman is having it on some soggy kitchen roll. <laughs> <laughs> we're sharing avocado halves. And we're just getting a bit, you know, romantic. Well. Wow avocado two-thirds and avocado a third you, you're trying to ruin the romance aren't you you know uh, oh. trying to ruin it all isn't he And the babies are done for the day. And uh, little Mr. Cute is pretty much the same way. Packing up. Packing it up. 
a lovely day down in on our own little private beach. Don't know what we do without this in the summer, to be honest. Because that's one bad thing about van life in Spain in the summer is the flies. Like there's so many of them. The dogs don't really like them, especially the big buzzy ones which bite them on the bum. Yeah, more so I think inland as well, right? Inland yeah. Spain. We've got nets here. We've got nets on the top one. And we do have little nets for these as well. So custom made them, didn't you darling? Custom made all round. Right, let's go. And here we go, our little evening spot. It's actually quite nice, my love. Isn't Look at it? that, a little gateway through to paradise. We decided to move up here just because, I mean, I don't know if you've seen the last vlog, we got told to move on from parking right kind of near the lake. And we've seen one or two reviews, was it on park for night? Yeah. Someone said that they got fined if they park down there at night. I think it's fine in the daytime, but night time it's a little bit risky. I don't know whether there's a fine here, but in the area it's one of them, and isn't it? other lakes, you yeah. know, they Is prefer it... yeah. for you to stay, you know, a little bit higher up rather than right on the... Yeah. Lakes, the chances sure, are you yeah. wouldn't get fined and if they did come you'd probably just get mo told to move up here but you know it's just to sleep and this is more level because down there was a bit uneven. And so change of scenery, isn't it? Change of scenery, yes. Different view, different angle of the lake. <laughs> so what's going on in the kitchen tonight? Well it's one of those um, just throw everything in my little mixing pot and hope for the best. As we mentioned before, we don't have much left, but what we do have is we've got black mm. beans, walnuts, we've got some oats, we've got some onions and carrots chopped up with mm. some garlic. Then I put some spices and herbs in there. We've got a bit of cumin, a bit of smoked paprika, and hopefully they're gonna turn out like some kind of burgery, black bean burgery things. Ooh. I have added a few more things. I won't be able to tell you what's in these by the end, I tell you. Mm. From that mixture, we've made a giant burger. I couldn't be bothered to make it into burgers. So we just did one big one in the pan and that's what it's turned out like. Then we've done like a topping of fresh tomatoes, uh, crispy, crunchy onions, and a little bit of nutritional yeast. And that is the quinoa that we prepared a little bit earlier on. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Good morning, guys. And um, Dizzy's just woken up. Uh, I thought I'd just show you our lovely view from bed this morning. Look at that, beautiful. Yes, it doesn't get much better than that in the morning, does it? And um, that's why I'm still in bed because I'm just enjoying it from here. Cheers, everyone. Definitely the best time of the day. First thing in the morning, just hear the birds singing. The world hasn't woken up yet. Charlie's so peaceful, so calming. If you get stressed or you're depressed or something, get yourself a dog. Like Charlie, not like Dizzy. Dizzy causes stress. <laughs> so different. Charlie will just sit out here for ages, listening, sniffing, watching. Really relaxed. Just, it's just calm and sat with them. And then Dizzy comes out and barks at everything. <sighs> Lovely way to start the day. 8.30, down here, having a swim. I've just got out. I'm knackered actually, I've just swam quite a distance. And uh, feels fantastic. There's Nick. Just about here somewhere. Obviously I beat him on the swimming competition because I've swum all the way down and back and he's just coming. There we go. Oh my gosh, guys, the weather has just changed. We've got a proper storm going on all of a sudden. Yes, um, I'm just in shock. This is just so crazy. Like literally this morning, everything really calm, peaceful, perfect, just like yesterday. And then I don't know, like about 10 o'clock this morning, 
the wind picked up and it's like so hot. It's like a hairdryer. Someone's got a hairdryer and they're just blowing it in our faces. Ah, amazing. Yeah, it's not very nice out here at all. I don't think we're going to be doing much today. It's horrible. When the weather's like this, you just need to be in the shade or in the van. Open the windows, nice breeze comes through. But yeah, today we are... We're not going to do much, we're just going to sit here and admire the view. I don't know what we can do in this weather, that's the thing. All you can do is sort of sit still and wait for it to pass, isn't it? Uh, the doggies are okay, Charlie's like taking shelter under the van, so he has got the breeze and it's not too hot. Dizzy's just running around chasing geckos as he does. As per usual. Uh, there's nobody else here, everyone's buggered off to the coast to escape the heat wave. <laughs> just <laughs> so, us crazy fools inland. Who didn't know the heat wave was coming. <laughs> Anyway, um, we just thought we'd take a moment to talk about uh, a new gadget we've been sent. We do like our gadgets. Yes, that's one of the good things about being a YouTuber. You get sent these crazy good products to test out and to give your opinion to you guys. So today's product is the EcoFlow Delta Max, which is this big ass bad boy sat next to me here. I'm moving it in. We did want to sit outside and tell you about this, but weather's just crazy. Actually, it's not that heavy. 22 kilos. It has a capacity of 2016 watt hours. This is marvellous, isn't it? <laughs> no, um, this, this is a bit of a beast. Yeah, it's got everything you need in one box. And the good thing about these things is they're portable. So to be honest, we've actually used this more in the house than we yeah. have in the van. Our last electricity bill <laughs> was over double from the one before, before we went to the UK. So in six months, our electricity bill has gone over double, which is just absolutely insane. We knew it was going to go up a little bit, but it's just insane. And I know it's the same for most people at the moment. Energy mm. prices are just ridiculous. So we have taken to using power stations in our house and another reason we use these which is so handy is because i don't know whether it is same everywhere but in spain or in our little village anywhere we do get a few power cuts yeah you get just random ones when you get these freak storms or just yeah just randomly so, so just this... like, get this out there you go and you're <laughs> sorted this has got like four plug sockets on it it's got it's um 12 volt you've got loads of usb and um the inverter you can actually plug appliances up to like 3000 watts yeah so you can so do you like can... the fridge you know microwave, microwave. power tools <laughs> Um, yeah, so it's like proper high spec type thing, mm. isn't it? I really love the look of these things. I mean, they look pretty cool. It's got two really sturdy handles and this little LED screen here tells you exactly what's going on with the machine at all times. A neat little dial telling you how much the percentage is. Plug something in to charge up like your solar or from the car or from the AC outlet in the wall and it tells you exactly how many hours it's going to take to charge up. And then also when you plug something into it to use it like your laptop it tells you how many hours you've got left using that current wattage did that make sense my love i think it did <laughs> i think another great thing about this you've actually got an app for it so you can download it the app onto your phone and then on your phone you can check exactly how much is being used by each usb slot so like specifics which is pretty cool so how you much know you're everything from the you know everything, everything what's going on the whole time like it's pretty it's well cool. cool it's, it's very, got all the gadgets all the little it gimmicky has got things all of the gadgets doesn't it now another huge feature that sets it apart from other power stations is its super fast charging capabilities. This bad boy can charge from the mains from 0 to 80% in one hour. Just using that cable. Yeah, 0 to 80 in an hour, 0 to full in 1.6 hours, which yeah. is just unbelievable. Obviously that, you don't need it to charge that quickly generally, but if you want to sneak into an internet cafe, just put it on the floor. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Shh, shh. And you can also charge it up when you're driving. And what would a power station be without a solar panel? Oh yeah, baby. So, so EcoFlow were kind enough to send us two of their 160 watt solar panels and check out the bag that it comes in. These, I mean, these are sexier than the, the power station itself. I mean, <laughs> It looks like an art portfolio or something. These are the solar panels. Now there's two of them here. We've got linked up together, charging the power station in the van. They're really good solar panels. They're a little bit on the heavy side. We've got them laid flat at the moment because the wind is just crazy. They do come with sort of a mechanism within the bag to stand them up, but we prefer to lay them down. They've got holes 
all around the edge so you can sort of peg them to the ground. Let's get back in the van because you probably can't hear a word I'm saying in this wind. If you're interested in checking out the EcoFlow Delta Max, which can be also used as a bongo. Sounds good actually. It's all right that, isn't it? Anyway, yeah, click the link in our description and check out all the products they have on offer. Um, they're giving a 5% discount if you use our coupon code, The Explorers. Yeah, that's only till the end of the month and I think there's a limited number. So mm. if you are interested, hit the link in the description to find out more. Does that sound good or rubbish? Well, good. I need a bit of practice. Doesn't even need to be plugged in. <laughs> windy, isn't it? Windy, windy, windy. Guys, this weather, you have to be here to believe it. It's just crazy. We feel like we're trapped here. We literally can't really leave the van. We just went down for a dip then. Nice, cool, refreshing dip. By the time we've walked back about 50 meters, we're completely dry. My hair. It's like a hair dryer. Just... I bet that laundry is going to take about 15 seconds to dry. It's unbelievable. I don't think I've felt wind and heat this yeah. much type thing. It feels like mid-August or yeah, traveling central Australia. Australia. This is like the worst <laughs> fire, forest yeah. fire weather. And it just came on from nothing. Like, yeah, when we arrived here, it was like paradise, wasn't I know. it? The lake was beautiful and it was like, now I've forgotten what it's like to not hear wind. <laughs> We had to come here to the little village shop to get some supplies because we are running very low or we'll basically run out of a few things but it's only like five kilometers to get here. And this little town village is called Arenas del Rey which means um, sand of the king, Arenas? Yeah maybe, sand of the king. King of the sand. So we didn't get much, just some essentials. <laughs> some olives, a tomato. And yeah, they, there was a very small shop. They didn't have much. So we just literally got like some frozen vegetables because they didn't really have many vegetables, a bag of onions. We did get this though. That's for the dogs. Dogs get the good stuff. Ham on, ham on curato, serrano ham. These dogs are so blinking spoiled. They've only had their dry biscuits and they're getting fussy. And unless you put something else in with their dry biscuits, they're like, no, I'm not eating that. And here we go. What's this? Very nice, cold water, cold, fresh water. What a find. It's just coming out. Look, you don't even have to switch the tap on. Oh. It is like 35 degrees again today. Just spoke to the lady in the shop. She was saying, yeah, it's like really, really hot for this time of year. Obviously for May, 35 is very hot. So it's just a little heat wave that's striking us down over the next couple of days. We do have a hose, but we've yet to use it. We just find this easier, less conspicuous, and um, we haven't got a massive tank, so yeah, it's easy enough to do it this way. <laughs> yeah, I do spend most of my time sweeping. <laughs> And it's a bit frustrating when it's really, really windy outside.
So we are just moving the van to a slightly different location. I'll tell you why in a moment. Yes, this is 100% our last night in this little location, isn't it, my love? Yes, our rule of three, our new rule of three, no more than three nights in one particular spot. In case, I mean, unless, unless of some kind of emergency, of course, or, you know, something terrible happens or really great, you know what I mean. Generally, rule of three. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, guys, the wind has finally dropped. Finally. Gosh, it's been a crazy couple of days, hasn't it? Last couple of days, first thing in the morning, lovely. And then, I don't know, 11 o'clock, boom, the wind comes and then the evening just yeah. drops. So here he is. Look at that, look at that, brand new dog. Charlie has had the full works today. He's had haircut, he's had wash and blow dry in this wind. And he's had a proper pamper. He had like sticky stuff in his paws as well from tree sap, so we've been picking all that out. So he's been proper pampered. Um, we do like Charlie with his mohawk, but for this sort of weather, he needs to be like clean and all off. So. And before we go, I suppose we best explain why we moved literally about 10 meters. meters. Last night we had an invasion. <laughs> there was loads and loads of little flies to start with. In mm. fact, she's kept them. She's got them all, a little jar, <laughs> it's pets. We've kept half of them in here. It's probably not picking up on camera but there's loads and loads. There must be a hundred, maybe 200 little tiny flies in here. This is brilliant and it is a lifesaver last night. But those flies weren't really the problem. We didn't have many mosquitoes, which was good and one pesky annoying fly, but the main issue Spiders. was the little Procopins. Sorry, that's Welsh. Spiders, <laughs> not massive, but big enough. I mean, I'm terrified of spiders. They're but quite literally, big we've hardly had any spiders in the van in the past. And, and five. Five. Five, five in the space of like 10 So we're 10 thinking minutes. they came from the trees with the wind. Because you see loads of little webs, webs. in the trees. Like, okay, everywhere Not I like look, a posse, get ready a gang. for bed. There was one there, another one. Ah! Oh, it's horrible. So this is why we've moved from here, just in case it's that trees. We don't want another night like last night. It's just been a weird, weird old time here. First day, fantastic. And then just this crazy storm heat thing. Wave, yeah. Heat wave, heat wave storm. Please. Which is still going on, but we've we've got to go. We've got to we've got to move on. So yeah. we'll see how we go. Anyway, anyway. Um, we're gonna get an early night tonight, so we can get up early. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope you enjoyed this vlog too. If you want to get yourselves one of these, brilliant for van life. This will be in our Amazon store link in the description box below. And um, and yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching everyone. Sorry Hit we haven't like shown button. you loads of different locations and things in here. It's just what we've been up to the last few days. Hopefully we'll show you some nicer stuff next week. Hopefully. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this vlog. Yeah, hit the subscribe button if you're not already, the not okay. notification Mention bell button. so you don't miss a thing. Make sure you're following us on Instagram, Facebook, or and TikTok. Mm. <laughs> and uh, we'll catch all of you guys next Thursday. Welcome back to the channel, everyone, and you join us on the shores of Lake Las Bahamas. Los. Los um, Bahamas. Welcome to the shores of Los Bermachelas Lake. Los Bermachelas. Los Bermachelas Reservoir. Lake. On the shores of Lake Bermachelas. Bermachelas. No. Bermachelas. Bermachelas. Like jelly, I think. We pick you up while we laugh less. You <laughs> join us today on the shores of Lake Bergelums. <laughs> so there's only one thing for it. Um, here we go. They're not going to be happy about that, are they? No. Come on, dears. He wants his usual salmon steak. Oh, he'll eat it if he gets fed, it's like not... the little king he is. 